Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to render Razor Edit areas in Reaper. Now, this is a newer feature that's been added to Reaper that allow us to render files based on Razor edits. So I have a project in front of me here with some drum tracks, a drum reverb return that the drums are being sent to, a bass, a piano, and a couple of synths that are sending to a delay and a reverb return. Let's go to the file menu and choose render. And here's the dialog where we could render files. We can go up here to see the Razor Edit Areas feature. But let's first review what the other options do. We can go up here to Master Mix to create a final mix of our entire project. The next option is Stems of Selected Tracks. So if we select our drum tracks, open it back up, and choose Stems Selected Tracks, it's going to render these four tracks, creating a different file for each. So let's hit render, go to our hard drive, and it creates these four files. Let's close this. Now when it prints these files, it's also including the volume on each track, the pan, and the effects, but it's not printing any effects going to the effects returns. And it's also not printing through the master track, including any master effects. Now, if we wanted to print those, we would choose this option, selected tracks via master. And if we render it this way, these files will include the effects returns and anything on the master track. And we could also choose to render a master mix and stems at the same time. And we could also choose to render based on regions using the region render matrix. And we could also render based on items. So instead of rendering full tracks, we could just choose items. So let's select a few items. And this method is still going to print the effects on each track, the volume and pans, but it's not going to print any of the effects on the effects returns or anything on the master track. So when we choose this option and render it, it renders these files based on media items. These items right here. But again, they're not going to print our effects returns or anything on the master track. If we want that, we need to choose this option, selected media items via master. And if we render it now, these files were printed with the effects returns and the master effects. Then we come to the main purpose of the video, the Razor Edit Areas. So we could use this option just to render what's within the Razor Edit Area. So just to review, to create a Razor Edit, on PC, hold on Alt, and on Mac, hold on Option, and then right-click, drag. Notice how the cursor changes. Just drag it to make a selection. And that's called a Razor Edit. So let's create one on the kick track, just for this section. And then if we render this Razor Edit area, it's going to render that into one file, based exactly on this size. And we could also create multiple Razor Edits, just by adding in the shift key. So on PC, it's Alt Shift, right drag, and on Mac, 
it's option shift, right drag. And we can create multiple ones like this. Let's create a whole bunch. Now we could render all these from here. And then it renders a separate file for each razor edit we created. And notice it created two separate kick files. And that's because we have two separate razor edits on the kick track. And if we create one razor edit across multiple tracks, it's treated as separate razor edits. So if we render this, it created one file for each track. And while it does print the track effects, volume, and pan, it doesn't print the effects returns or anything on the master fader. But if we want that, let's create some new razor edits. Let's say we wanted to print our effects returns along with anything on the master track. We would just choose razor edit areas via master. Then we can render it. Then all these files are rendered based on each razor area, but including the effects returns and anything on the master fader. So that's pretty much it. That's how to render razor edit areas in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.